Hello, everybody. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Missy, and today I have a special treat for you. Um, I have officially hit 150 plus subscribers as of today, and I wanted to do something special. I will be doing a series of hot and spicy ramen. And today we're going to start off with hot and spicy, only one pepper. So if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I can withstand some spice, right? So I am on a hunt to find some spicy soups. I am on the hunt to find a soup that will make my mouth be on fire. I have not tried um, any of the Hunt and Spicy Ramens ever. I wanted to actually try the, what's that called, the Bulldack or the, whatever the popular viral ones are these days. But unfortunately, of course, as my luck would have it, they were out. So, I seen these. So I thought I would try it. These are the shrimp flavor. And I have a couple cucumbers and hard boiled eggs to go with it. So we're gonna get into it here in a second. Time to put the chili sauce in. Now I'm not obviously expecting this to be extremely hot or anything. I don't know, is that supposed to look like that though? Y'all, if you've done this, please let me know if it's supposed to be thick like that. I always thought they were a little bit runny, like a regular sauce. I don't know, but let me know. Let me know in the comments below if I'm doing this correctly or if I was I supposed to do something with this other than drop it in. I'm not sure. Uh oh. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Yum. I put too much water in it. I don't like a lot of water in my ramen. Do you? I'm a more noodle type of person, not really like a, a soupy, watery soup kind of person, so. Uh, so this didn't really mix in the greatest either. Maybe I should have checked the expiration date. Whoops. Okay, so right off the bat, it has a nice smell. It's got a nice scent to it. I'm not a fan of the dehydrated vegetables, but here we are. We're going to do it anyway. So right off the bat, though, I noticed the sodium intake. And not too excited about that. The sodium is 1,330 milligrams. So I probably won't be eating all of it. Sriracha for the egg. I'll just put some here and dip it. I normally like to put cracked black pepper on it as well. Why do I look that way? I'm gonna try not to mess with my hair. That's like something I've noticed in my videos I do a lot is a lot of hair flips. We're gonna try not to do so many hair flips. All right, so we're gonna get in on this ramen. 
and I'm not real well versed with using chopsticks so So first bite. Strangely enough, it has some heat, okay? Y'all, and this is only on the first pepper. So I might be a little concerned on this one. I have some soups that have six peppers hot. So I might be in for it. Like I said, I normally can handle hot, spicy. Um, I have grown habaneros in the garden and I have picked them up out of the garden and taken a bite out of it and I wasn't affected. I apologize if there's a lot of slurping but you know how that goes, right? actually getting it on myself too. How fun is that? All right, let's try one of these hard boiled eggs with sriracha sauce. Y'all, I promise I will get my setup perfect one day. Mmm. Do you guys like hard boiled eggs? If you do, I have a hack. I have a hack video. It's a short, but if you haven't seen it or don't know about this hack, y'all need to go watch it because in 12 minutes you can have the perfect hard boiled eggs. You see it live right here. You see it. Mmm. You see the proof. That's what I was trying to say. You see the proof right here. In 12 minutes, you can have perfect hard boiled eggs. Let's do this. This probably won't end well either. Sorry about my hair. So not only am I eating y'all, I need to take chopstick training. <laughs> oh my God. That was pitiful. Maybe I should have continued to use my hands. Mm. So not only am I trying to eat this soup that's slightly on the warmer side. I'm downing sriracha sauce by the cups. No, just kidding. I'm eating a lot of sriracha sauce. Funny. And these are the slick ones. These are like authentic, I think. These aren't the wooden ones you get in a Chinese restaurant. Okay. I may have to go get my one ones. <laughs> this is hilarious. Not really, because it's frustrating because I'm hungry. Okay. Just grab a whole big glob, right? Okay, so. On a scale from one to 10 on heat level, now that I have a bunch of sriracha still burning in my mouth, um, I would probably give this 
Um, yeah, probably a two. I mean, I think the sriracha went down the wrong way. My bad. But anyway. Um. Yeah. It hits you a little, but it's not that spicy. It's good. The flavor is good. Like I said, I don't like the sodium content numbers. Um, but it's good. Um, would I buy them again? Sorry, I'm sweating. Would I buy them again? I probably would buy them again if it wasn't for the sodium content because I really like the flavor. But as far as the sodium, I'm not a fan. Now, this is the only thing that I'm going to eat and have eaten all day. So technically speaking, if I did eat it all, it's not, it's not that bad, right? I mean, anyway, enough complaining about the sodium content and just eat, right? So I don't remember if I said what the series, I know I said what the series is going to be about, but um, no, maybe I did explain the whole entire thing. Yeah, so I'm going to have one of these maybe once a week. Um, the different uh, levels of heat. And uh, yeah, do a series on them. Rate the heat level for you. Eat chitty chatty a little bit and yeah I thought it'd be fun it'd be different for my channel I'm going to be starting something else next week um, I am going to be meal prepping and I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep this um, a secret and not say anything until I did get some videos edited or whatever. But I'll just talk about it now. So, <clears throat> my dad is 84 years old. And he is starting to have some trouble walking, getting around, driving, that kind of thing. Um, and so getting out and going grocery shopping is not, it's not, um, a thing he can do easily any longer. So I've either, um, bought his groceries and then deliver them, you know, and put them away and whatnot. But he also was getting meals on wheels. And if anybody doesn't know what that is, I'll explain more in the next, um, in that video. But what I'm going to start doing is, is meal prepping for him. And I thought about recording it. Now, I may or may not, I haven't decided if I'm going to record the whole meal prep, but I'm going to do... I'm going to do like a week or two at a time um, and 
I thought, well, while I'm cooking this stuff, might as well just um, go ahead and record it. So there's that. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll talk more about um, that whole situation and explain what Meals on Wheels is and other things when I get to that the um video and whatnot but yeah so i don't have anything else to say <laughs> so yeah for the rest of the video i'm not sure what else to talk about so let me just finish my dinner I might just eat the whole thing. And I'm not sure what happened to that. It's flat there. It's just, yeah. So again, I would like to thank all of my OG subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Hitting a milestone is huge. I don't care how small of a milestone it is. The goal is 500 uh, by the end of this year. So hopefully I can achieve that goal. And... Let me say, keep it on the, tr keep it on the track, where I, of where I want it to be. We're on a slow but steady uphill climb, and I love it. I mean, I love to cook, <laughs> and I'm an Italian German, and I love to eat. So that's that goes without saying, right? I mean, who doesn't love good food? So, thank you to every, each and every one of you warriors out there that have subscribed. I appreciate every single one of you. You do not even understand. Like, this was just, this was just a silly thing that I started in hopes to just share my love of cooking, my love of baking, my love of being in the kitchen. And if this was the way to do it, other than, or rather than having my own restaurant, then this is how I will achieve um, getting my food out there and sharing my love of cooking with everybody that actually cares to watch it. So or watch my content. It's fun. I love it. Five hundred subscribers. I want to do a QA. So I think that will be super fun. Or maybe I'll make it at 250, 250 subscribers. Um yeah. I haven't done an introduction video. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. The gears are churning. So, yeah, I'm not going to eat the, that cucumber. I am pretty sure I'm finished here. There's a lot of juice and just a few little noodles that really aren't noodles any longer. So, like I said earlier, I know this is kind of a sappy video, but um, it's my first uh, solo mukbang, first of all. Second of all, um, I'm just so appreciative of every single one of you. Um, Y'all make me happy. You really do. 
the comments, um, just all the love that I get. It's just amazing. So on that note, stay safe, be kind, love with everything you have, and I will see you and you, and I hope you in the next video. Bye everybody.